Hi beautiful people, I am Tiffany and welcome to my channel. This is a wig 101 for beginners. This is the Remy Hair Brazilian Kinky Curly 10 inch bundle in the color 27. Um, I was gifted this and so I decided to make a wig and I used the Miss Remy Adjustable Band Deluxe Weaving Cap and I also used a mini glue gun and some mini glue sticks that I purchased from Walmart and a regular old grocery bag. So to start off, I flipped the weaving cap inside out because I wanted the hair basically in the inside to hide the ends of the weaving cap. So right now what you're seeing is the weaving cap inside out. And I went ahead and went all the way around in the circle and made sure that I had enough glue and when you're hot gluing guys do a little bit at a time because that glue will dry up quickly so then I flipped it to the right side as you can see so the hair is in the inside and I started on the outside and like I said I take my time I do a little bit at a time and make sure that I'm putting it on the way I want it and I just go into a complete circle fully and hold it for a little while and be careful because these glue guns are hot um this is not difficult ladies if you want to make your own wig this is beginner friendly um this weave cap had bands i don't know if you can see them they're adjustable straps so i went over those and i didn't want to glue those down so that's why there's such a big gap right there but by the time you get done putting all this hair on it will cover it up. You will not be able to see that. So I wanted to um, not glue those bands. So if I needed to adjust the straps, I had the option to. And this weaving cap girls for my girls with a, a larger size head, this would be the cap for you with the adjustable straps. Um, and I also suggest that you go in and make sure you loosen the straps. And when you are doing the cap, make sure that you're on a wig head that is the same size or bigger than your head preferably the same size so i went around in a circle the whole way around and now i've gotten to the top of the wig cap and i'm just going to go in a circle and continue that until i get into a smaller circle and just taking my time and i know you can see the wig cap a little bit but my aim was to go in and get all the hair done because I only had two bundles and um, I'll go back in and finish it off and add hair if I needed to. So this is the very top of the weave cap and I just went in with the hot glue, took a little piece that I thought was about the size of the hole that I had, rolled it together, put the glue in the middle of the hole, pressed it in, held it for a little while. Just if I was making a regular wig with, with um, hair glue, I would do the same thing. And I just pushed it in. I didn't want to flat it, flatten it out because I usually would flatten it out with my flat irons, but I wanted this hair to stick up. And so here I am going back in, in the spots where I felt like I could put a little bit more hair in. Because like I said, my goal was to make sure I had enough hair to finish the wig. And then I would go into the spots that I felt like needed a little bit more hair if I seen any areas where you can see too much black because I only had two bundles if I had three bundles I wouldn't have worried about it I would have made it a little bit tighter but because I only had two um, my goal was to go back in there and make sure that I had enough hair to finish the wig and then go back and add hair where I thought I needed it and that's what I did um, Overall, I really like the hair, guys. Um, the kinks and the curls were super pretty. It actually kind of mimics my real hair. I think it's more like a 3, 3C, 4A texture. And so here I am taking the plastic bag out. Now you make sure you put the plastic bag on because you don't want it sticking to whatever you're using to make the wig. So here it is, the finished product. Well, I cut a little bit out because um, and I did frame my face a little bit, but for the most part, I didn't have to cut a whole, whole lot because the wig is already layered. And if you're cutting the wig, ladies, start from the bottom and then cut up. 
cut a little at a time because once you cut, remember, you can't go back. I hope this helps somebody if they're looking to um, make a wig. And let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.